ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to London and uh, welcome to a live video from the banks of the River Thames. Usual disclaimer with live videos. Um, the quality is not as good um, in terms of stability and uh, just audio and image as uh, pre-recorded videos, but that is the, uh, the price you pay for going live on a phone. Check out the views, the sun's setting, and I'm walking straight into it, so there might be some squinting as well. Okay, you can see there, the skyline, the London Eye, South Bank Centre, the Oxo building there, Blackfriars Bridge, and the Shard there as well. I've been uh, filming a video today, so I needed to get some B-roll. Behind the scenes this is, I've been making a video from the South Bank, so I needed some shots of the South Bank from the North Bank. So I've had to come all the way down here to um, the Oxo building, the Oxo Tower. Now I've got to head all the way back. But I thought that would be a perfect opportunity to share tonight, sunset and the London skyline with you. Tide of the Thames is pretty high right now. <laughs> Go and take a closer look at that. Down here. Actually, let me show you something. Check this out. Doctor Who fans, this is a real life TARDIS. one of the old, original um, Blue Police phone boxes. No longer in operation. Okay, yeah, another thing on the other side of the river that we can see here, if you're British and unemployed, you'll be very familiar with this. This morning, TV studios. It's a British TV, uh, daytime TV show. It's as good as the zoom gets. And if you can make out there, this morning, TV studios. Okay, I'm going to head down to. Uh, Westminster, I don't know how long this live broadcast will last or um, how long the battery will last, but uh, see how far you make it. There's lots of war memorials on the North Bank. Okay, we've got a boundary mark here for the City of London. Okay, so we're now leaving the City of London. Those uh, dragons mark the edges. And, um, well, we're in now, Westminster. Some of these little walkways into the uh, down to the river. I don't know how high the tide is, but we might be able to uh, walk down on some of them. If the tide's going out, that is. It looks pretty high right now. Check out the uh, 
the boat. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice day today here in town. Spring. It's not. It looks warmer than it really is. Um, it's not cold, but uh, yeah, it's not as warm as the sun makes it look. Um, quite windy as well. But yeah, I've had worse days. Walk about a pub there. Hugely popular Australian themed bar. Next to Somerset House. I've seen quite a few weddings today on the uh, the bank of the river, which is something I've not seen too much of before. But yeah, and they weren't photo shoots; they were actual weddings. There are plenty of photo shoots here, but never normally. See. I normally see actual brides and grooms on the banks of the Thames. Okay, that building there is Somerset House, check it out. It was originally built to be the Admiralty before they built this embankment I'm walking on now. Um, that was the bank of the River Thames and uh, the Admiralty could moor their ships right against the building, even sail them in. That will change when they built this. National Theatre there as well. Looks like a bunker, but it is a theatre. They thought that kind of architecture was a good idea in the uh, 1950s and 1960s. Modernism and brutalism. Somerset House uh, looks a little bit more impressive. Sounds like they're having a party up there. See the marquees. Yeah, pretty popular spot for uh, people to go for a walk. Uh, the Cycle Super Highway is there, so a lot of people riding bikes along that. But I don't think it's as popular as they uh, they had imagined. Although it's a lot, it's a lot busier during the week. A lot of commuters use it. Okay, we're under Waterloo Bridge. Just go up here. Get a better view of the, uh, of the river. Okay, we're coming up on the uh, the strand. It's just up there, up there. So that is the uh, back of the Savoy Hotel. That one there.
Okay, you see the uh, Royal Festival Hill there? Queen Elizabeth Hall there, all part of the South Bank Centre. Skate Park is below there. I didn't intend it to be a skate park. It just happens to be uh, perfect. Okay, there's a great park there uh, in Bankman Gardens. The entrance to it there. Walk along all the way through down down there to um, Villiers Street. It comes out. Okay, yeah. But sometimes this bit down here, as the tide, the tide's going out. As the tide, when the tide rises, that's completely flooded. You can go down there now. I'm going to take a. Uh, yeah, we go and take a close look at that side of Cleopatra's Needle, which when the tide's high, you can't. Check it out. Jump in if you want. Walk down there. Check out that speedboat. It's not going very fast though. One here and one in Paris, I think. Gifts from Egypt. I think Egypt won it back. Now it's this obelisk prostrate for centuries on the sands of Alexandra was presented to the British nation 1819 by Mohammed Ali, Viceroy of Egypt, a worthy memorial of our distinguished countrymen Nelson and Abercrombie. Yeah, it'll be Egypt and the Bank of Thames. Guided tour going on there. Telling them all about it. Royal Festival Hall there. Okay, we're just coming up on um, embankment, another entrance to Embankment Gardens there, and. Uh, Stage there. Um, we're just coming to the entrance of um, Bankman Tube itself, and the uh, the Queen Elizabeth Bridge is here. The footbridges, and then the train track, the train bridge is called the um, Hungerford Bridge, I think. Yeah. 
embankment station there. Uh, yeah, just walking below the train tracks now. It's the hunger for bridge above me. And then there, one of the pedestrian bridges from the north bank here across to the south bank. If you want to go and check out the London Eye, great views from up there. Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. People enjoying a drink on that ship, dinner and drinks. Up there is uh, Trafalgar Square. Okay, we're getting pretty close to uh, being dead opposite the London Eye. Get some great views from this side of the river. Much better than right below it. groups of uh, tourists up here. Normally loads of coaches are parked along here. Um, but they've got roadworks, so they can't. But yeah, I guess that's why they were back by Somerset House. Down here is normally like a coach park for a... Uh, there is still some coaches down there, but yeah. And a lot of the coaches drop off the tourists here and they head down to the House of Parliament and Big Ben, obviously the London Eye. Make it, you can just about see the shard in the distance. We can see the shard pretty much everywhere. It's so tall, yeah, in the distance on the skyline. A lot of uh, construction work going on. Phone boxes, tourists love them. What they don't know is all we use them for is uh, to pee in. No joke. Not me personally, I hasten to add, um, but yeah, there is. You can tell immediately from the smell if you ever get in one, that that's all they're used for. That's all they've been used for for decades. Okay, here we have a uh, Royal Naval Force War Memorial. And great views from here of the London Eye. <laughs> great spot for selfies. Um, time lapse of the uh, the London Eye. Check it out. Especially on days like today when you've got clouds moving, fluffy white clouds against the uh, blue sky.
That is County Hall, originally built for the, uh, the council. Now home to Shrek's Adventure, the London Aquarium, Dungeons. That section of, uh, that section of river there. Half the tourists in London at any given point are in Leicester Square and the other half are on that section of river right there. Avoid that at all costs. Unless you're a tourist and you want the tourist experience. Okay, War Memorial for the Battle of Britain. New Scotland Yard. New Scotland Yard there. Um, I guess home of the uh, police force. I thought there was a, I thought um, they were uh, by sort of halfway between Victoria and um, Westminster Abbey. Maybe they maybe they've moved. Maybe they've got two. There's a pigeon there. I don't know if you can make it out. It's attached to a plastic carrier bag. Check this out. Looks like plumage, but that's plastic. People are trying to help it, but it doesn't want to be helped. What can I do? I can fly, all right. I guess when it gets worn out, someone will get that off. Until now, people were trying, but it was just flying away. I could see it. They were trying to grab it, but it was having none of it. When it gets worn out, they'll get it and help it. It doesn't want to be helped right now. Okay, Palace of Westminster, aka the House of Parliament right in front of me, and Big Ben. Uh, we'll head down to uh, Parliament Square, where I'll call it an end for this live broadcast. Money shot there. I'm ruining it. So is the coach. When I started making these videos, everyone thought you were insane talking to a camera. Uh, but luckily, like Snapchat and uh, Instagram stories, everyone's at it now. Look odd if you're not. Ice cream van. You know summer's coming when the ice cream men are uh, motoring around. Okay, welcome to Tourist Central. Let's go and check out the red phone box stand there. 
mobbed with tourists taking photos down there. Love the red phone boxes. Sun's fierce, hey, walking into the sun. Sunset. Westminster Abbey there. I can't see a thing. The sun is blinding. I don't know what you can see. Maybe the camera can uh, do better than my eyes. It's direct sunlight. Run, run, run. Okay, right. This is the photo spot. Tourist Central. Duck down. Check it out. Well, this isn't the money shot. I'll show you where the tourists will be. Taking photos of themselves. There's a queue for to take a photo. To check this queue out to get your photo with a red phone box. Here's the phone box. There's the queue. No, it's a queue to get your photo taken. Here's a good shot, I suppose. But if you come here quite early in the morning or late at night, there's no one here. So everyone gets their, uh, everyone wants their picture. Do you know what? There's another one here as well with another queue. Well, I guess it'll have a queue. Yep. Check it out. This one's not so popular. Oh, that one. No one seems to want to take their photo with that one. Go on. Big Ben's just about to hit three quarter chimes. Let's see if we can catch that. It's uh, 6.45 almost. Forty-five. 
might as well uh, keep going until the battery dies. Uh, just going to check out Downing Street. I'm not sure if the uh, the cavalry will uh, still be on duty down here, but uh, I don't know what time they finish work. Okay, cabinet war rooms down there. One of the uh, main London war memorials here. Downing Street. You can't go down it. You used to be able to, apparently. Before my time, they didn't used to have the gates on. You could walk straight through it, come out the other side. Downing Street. Live from Downing Street. Who'd have thought you could do that a few years ago? The women of World War II. Okay, I'll go and see if the horses are outside. Uh, it's this horse cars parade entrance down here. I don't know what time the horses go to bed, but I would imagine it's quite early. So there's nothing there because if there were, there'd be huge uh, crowds of tourists by the gates and there aren't any. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, horse cars parade. Believe it or not, they're actually building the uh, scene for the Queen's birthday already. It's not until June. That's the scene for Trooping of the Colour. Queen's birthday celebrations at the start of June. Already, it's only April. Okay, from Horse Guards Parade, we're heading towards the, uh, the gates of St James's Park. It's quite uh, softer than I thought, this gravel. Somewhere I'll walk across very often. Okay, back end of Downing Street's there. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to call this a live broadcast, call it a day here. I hope you enjoyed this little wander about London. Um, come quite a way I think. Where do we start? Opposite the Oxo Tower on the North Bank. Headed uh, all the way to uh, Parliament Square. Then to Horse Cars Parade. Didn't see any horses. But, uh, saw one guard. Back of Downing Street. Head down here at the end of this street. Get to here, turn left, and it comes. Turn left at the end of here, and it comes back out at um, Parliament Square in those red phone boxes. Check this out. Like a hobbit house. Duck Island Cottage. So this pretty cottage was built in 1841 as the home of the bird keeper in St James's Park. It also had a club room for the Ornithological Society of London. Which once helped to look after the park's ducks and geese. The design like a Swiss chalet was intended to be a contrast to the grand architecture of government buildings nearby. The cottage has been altered several times and it's Use has also changed. It was once a store for bicycles, confiscated in the park, but is now offices. Check out the size of that. Is that a goose? Oh, look, duckling. It's quite a big duckling. Here come the pigeons. Look at that. Please do not feed or touch these sociable birds. Pelicans. Don't worry, I ain't touching them. Just hope they don't touch me.
there they are out on the rocks. Okay guys, call it a day then, thanks for watching, and um, till next time, there will be a uh, new video on the channel very soon, pre-recorded one, so uh, slightly better visual audio quality than these live ones, but um, yeah these are going to be great when the phones catch up with uh, compact cameras, and obviously the, uh, the connection, it's always going to be uh, a little bit tricky, buffering and whatnot, and uh, dropping out. But yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, toodles. Right, I'm just going to turn the camera around, walk down the road until this cuts out, which will be very soon. Get down to Big Ben, hopefully, in the red phone boxes before it dies. But yeah, you probably won't see me again. So, toodles. I might make seven o'clock on Big Ben. That was the money show, hey? Right, thanks for watching. Until next time, toodles.